Hello everyone. We have a white oak log here we're going to try to get a little bit of material out of today. And you can probably see that we have a pretty good crown in this log. We also have an off-centered heart ring in order to center this log up on the bunks. I'm going to show you the way I've been doing it and then I've got something new I want to try today to speed this process up not only for logs that may not necessarily be the greatest material you will ever mill but when we get a log up here that we want to turn into a cant and saw it up I hope this will make it faster for us and since we do have an offset center here we're eight and a half across the log get us a nice mark going here so we can know where our center is and that should be pretty close right there so you can see we're about looks like a three quarters of an inch yeah so we're three quarters of an inch offset already and if we would lay this up on the bunks and start trying to mill it if we're not paying attention to that we can lose quite a bit of material in a log that's not the greatest size in the world to begin with so for our experiment today let's get this thing laid down on the bunks I will show you how I've been doing it and then I'll show you the new method that I want to try and if we do lose a little bit off the log it's not going to be a terrible loss so before I get into some really nice material I would rather experiment on something that may not cost quite as much and what I've been doing to make our first cut is leveling across the bunks after I have the log pretty well positioned the way I want to go and just simply centering to the log on each end well if we lift this end of the log up this is a smaller diameter than our large end then that pushes this end down so you get into a situation where you're back and forth a couple of times in order to really get the log centered up and by leveling across like this I shouldn't have to measure the ends of the log other than one time for our experiment to make sure that it's going to work good then after that when we get to some of the better logs roll them up here and put a level on it and start milling I'm going to try to get as much of the crown up as I can and you can see I mean we've got a pretty good amount of movement there and that does make these logs difficult to actually get to where you can clamp them as well. I am going to bring our chalk line back across here one more time. We'll see how much we actually have sagging in the middle of this guy. So at least an inch and maybe even an inch and a quarter there. And now that we've got this thing pretty much level there I don't mind to go ahead and check it like I've been doing and six and five eighths here and six and nine sixteenths here so we're within a sixteenth of an inch all right let's make our first cut across through here Take a look, see how we done. We started to get some movement on the log and a lot of wind. It was pretty fat at this end and really thin in the center. And then by the time we got to the end of the log, 
we were making our way out of the crown. So that's what we ended up with our first cut across the top of it. Let's get this stuff out of the way. I bet our chalk line looks a little better this time. Keep it out here on the edge and see how we get across the sky. Oh yeah. Yep. I would say that's definitely going to be where we need it to be. Let's roll it over and see if it works on the next side. Let's see if we can find a suitable place for this guy to set. And bring this end up just a little bit. I know I knocked that level off of there. And that should actually get us pretty close. Okay, we're back in the lines. Let's make another cut, guys, and see how that turns out for us. Well, that wind is something else today. And we left a little meat on this one. That's all right, though. We can still use that. Let's see how we've got squared up here. So at least we've dealt with the crown. And now we're square on two sides and level. And this is the fun part as far as setting the log up because a little bit quicker. Okay. Let's trim it down and see what we end up with. We definitely made a nice cut through the bark line there. And surprisingly, the log is solid throughout. So that is nice to see. And now before we cut our last live edge off of this, we know this line will be level. And we are dead in the numbers there, guys. So I will say... I think that will work, just being able to place a level on, get everything pinned in and ready to mill, rather than measuring each end of the log repeatedly. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's always nice to be right before you saw it. But <clears throat> that may speed up the process right there. Let's make our last cut and see what we've ended up with. That looks better than I thought it was going to.
I think we're going to end up with our 5x5. Five five. That's this guy out here where we can take a look at it. And it is straighter than where we started, right? As far as material goes, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. As far as our experiment goes, I think that worked really well. And I do think that'll be my new practice. Just simply get the log rolled to the bunks, put a level on the middle of it, and get it leveled and clamped, and then start milling. So we've ended up with a five by five. Nice straight lines. Well, it's definitely straighter than when we started, right? I hope some of this information helps you guys. Uh, if you've been doing the way I have been doing it, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Always double check before you saw and you'll be in good shape. But to speed the process up, easier for us too, um, it's definitely going to be the new way for me. Thanks for watching and you know we're not getting out of here until we put some water on that. I'll talk to you on the next one. Oh yeah. White oak is some nice material too, guys.